happy to have juveniles of this age involved in violent criminal activity. It, it's in my 25 years the first time I've ever seen anything like it. In the middle of the afternoon on a Tuesday, usually kids are in school. Well, today, three teens and a 12-year-old were not in class. Instead, they were arrested after an armed carjacking turned into a police pursuit. Bellevue police say the four kids worked as a team to steal one car and then carjack a person at gunpoint to get a second vehicle. This is the latest in a troubling string of violent crimes involving kids in our area. Let's start with this aerial surveillance video from Guardian One, a chopper for the King County Sheriff's Office. It shows three 14-year-olds in a stolen and Dodge trying to get away from Bellevue police. And during the pursuit, the rear tires started to fall off and they were forced to abandon the car and take off on foot. Take a look. 31 uh, southbound passing southeast 58th. Looks like his car is smoking really bad. Looks like I think uh, it's like one or both tires in the rear are gone. Making the next right here, uh, going in. Looks like we're getting ready to bail. Okay, I got the driver. Driver's bailing out. Driver's wearing uh, like a brown shirt. And looks like they're bailing into the woods. Go straight off the nose of the car into the woods there. Get K-9 here. Well, Bellevue police did call in their K-9 teams and SWAT because they didn't know if the suspects were still armed. They didn't even know if they were teens at this point. The two suspects who ran both eventually surrendered, and the third suspect was found in the back seat of the stolen Dodge Charger. Now, this all started in Renton after a Seattle police captain, Jim Britt, was testing out a license plate reader on his patrol car and spotted a Hyundai Elantra that had been reported stolen in Redmond. Then he realized a 12-year-old was driving. There was someone in their backyard that they could see on the surveillance cameras. Our officers made contact with that individual, determined that that suspect was involved with the stolen car that we had just recovered. We also determined at that time that that suspect was 12 years old. That 12-year-old was arrested, and detectives then learned he had been with the three 14-year-olds when they jumped out and carjacked the owner of the Charger at gunpoint, leading to that pursuit. The age of these accused kids leaving police in dismay. What is shocking to me is that we have a 12-year-old involved in a uh, carjacking, potentially an armed carjacking, and, and then driving, seen driving a stolen vehicle that was taken either before or after. Uh, and then to find out that the people that he was involved with are now all 14 years old, under the age of, you know, uh, not adults. That's what's shocking. Here's a look at the rear wheel of that stolen Dodge Charger right down to the rims. Bellevue police are now serving a search warrant on that Charger to look for the gun used in the carjacking. Today's arrests come after four teens robbed two little girls at gunpoint in Spanaway over the weekend for their Subway sandwiches. Detectives tell us the changes made in the law last year that keep them from interviewing juvenile suspects without a lawyer present have made it really difficult to prosecute these cases and to try to put these kids back on the right track even when their parents want help to set those kids straight. Jamie?